Suppose you are a musician. Let's say you like a certain style of the music. Let's say you make a song in this style. Let's say you think you make good songs in this style. But why these songs are gaining audience and fighting the real fans? What's the big deal? It's just that you've been doing wrong at the first stage. And today I'm going to tell you about my technique. Technique that uses big producers from the big labels. That will help you to understand more about your creativity, your music analyze the music market and see the flows and very foundation of your music project. Hello everyone, this is your friend Still17, I'm independent musician, producer, beat maker with a lot of experience in this music industry. And today I'm going to tell you how to work properly with the references and what you should pay attention to even before starting to write a new song to increase the probability of your success interested here we go guys but before we jump into my technique please like this video and subscribe on this channel so you don't miss other videos about the music and music marketing over 95 percent of people who are watching my videos are not subscribed i'd love for you to subscribe and stay up to date on new videos thank for your attention we are ready to get started so first of all guys i want to upset you by telling the truth if you have only like few listenings and few listeners it's probably not that nobody understands you that's your your music is too cool, too high for general public, or that you just don't have a million dollars like the big labels do to promote your project. You can come up with any excuse that explain your failures, but it's all about the music, your music. Yes, it hurts to admit it. Yes, it's always really hard to change. Admit that you are wrong about what you believed in. I went through it by myself like a million times, guys. But the further I move, the more I realized that it was true. Music, like any any other art is a business like selling things or services you have to understand who you are making music for, where they will listen to it, who will listen to it, and all these factors affect all the aspects of the final product, right down to arrangement of the song, the length of the song, and even the mixing and mastering of the song. A simple example guys, let's say you make like emo hip hop or just hip hop, it doesn't matter. And the hip hop in the world of like things is a jeans, classical levy jeans, just imagine, just imagine, jeans have necessary attributes such as length material, pockets, buttons, zipper, and all the things that people are using and know about the jeans when they want to buy it. Just imagine that you wanted to make a jeans, new pair of jeans, but you end up with shorts made out of transparent polyethylene with your dick sticking out through them. Probably about like 10 people from the thousand have dreamed about having the drip stuff like this, but this product is definitely not for general public. In order to avoid that, you need to have like like mold or as we producers in the music industry call it references which you can use to analyze your product to analyze the music industry to raise the probability that in the output you will get nice product that you wanted to get that you can show and sell to people so today i'm going to show you most important basics that many people in music industry don't know or even don't think about where to start any musical project group band song track beat doesn't matter most likely this is gonna be like series of the videos about the music marketing and this is gonna be the first one so please like this video if you are interested in this type of content so your likes will be the main indicator for me guys and so basis of any music project is a clear analysis of the music market and your niche all steps we are gonna consider here on the example of my solo project still 17 which i've been working on for a year right now and during this time i've got more than 150,000 listenings and 5,000 monthly listeners on spotify and other platforms when i only thought about the project about this new project i had a couple of demo tracks, I realized what the style of my music belongs to. So the first thing you need to understand, the style of your music and subgenre. In my case, it's rock music and subgenres are pop punk and alternative. At this stage of choosing the genre, the choosing the style of your music, it's very important to look at 
yourself and your music project as truthfully as possible guys that's really important don't lie to yourself with this understanding what styles are you belong to we have to go on spotify find the one artist like the most popular most mainstream artist in your style for me for example it was machine gun kelly he's popular everyone listened to him his songs played on the radio so he was the perfect candidate for me so when we identify number one reference artist go to the section of similar artists and choose three more artists who are similar to our reference artist god damn i'm really tired to pronounce reference artist similar but okay fuck it for example i chose three artists starting with machine gun kelly who has over like 20 millions monthly listenings at this time and went all the way down to Kanwalk which had around like 1 million now when we have like our four artists four artists what we gonna do we need a spreadsheet when we will write the data about them the template of the my spreadsheet you will find in the description or in the pinned comment write down your artists and their listenings so here I have Machine Gun Kelly, Nothing Nowhere, Can't Walk, and GXDN. This is in my four artists. Now we need to find the top two most popular song on the Spotify of this artist and one track, one song that you personally like the most and fill them down to our spreadsheet. So here I did it too. Most popular song one, most popular song two, best song in my opinion. I fill all the information about it and you have to do the same thing. And now that's interesting part begin. Go to the tune beat and find BPM and key for each of the song in your spreadsheet. So I write it down too. Here is a free key of the songs and the BPMs for each of the song. You can do it by yourself. It's not a hard work. And so we of course can write the mood of the song. Why not? This is not too much necessary for this, but why not? You can do it to get the better result. So at this moment, I show you when you are writing out the BPM and key, fill the gaps with all the songs, with all this information, you probably could see some overlap. And when you fill the spreadsheet to the end, you will make sure guys that all that songs here have a lot in common. So guys, and here, what is my chart showed me for every top song of all these four artists the song was written in the f minor key is it not strange for you have you ever think about it guys i do not think so if we analyze the bpm then we can conclude that in this style of pop punk like alternative the bpm is divided into two groups like fast and slow so the fast range is from 115 to 188 kind of like EDM music and the slow one is from 80 to 90 this is typical BPM for the breakdown songs for the classic rap for the classic hip-hop too after this little research I was shocked and in this way you can understand initial ingredients to the song in this style this matrix in this chart tell us that the people are used to listen music in this key and in this tunnel they know how the favorite type of music should sound like they like this speed they like this key and if you make song using this matrix the people probably start associated your music with someone else and this is a really important stuff in the music industry yes the analysis not will give you 100 percent of success for example i personally really bad singing in f minor key it's not the best tunnel for my vocal but if we are looking at this matrix as a first step like to understanding how the music industry how the music and the style working this is a kind of good examples because music business has own trends trending tones trending keys trending instruments moods vocals lyrics everything and you might ask me like bro all these famous musicians don't fuck around like that and i have a good answer for you guys these musicians have massive experience gigantic experience behind them they have a great ears they have their own producers and they know how to make such a spreadsheet just in their heads capturing all the nuances all the moods all the stuff that we are talking about today 
just in the head. If you can do this right now, that's absolutely okay guys. It will come in time a little bit later, but for now, you can use just Google Sheets. So in conclusion guys, like I said, it's just the beginning and foundation that you have to know to start your music career, to start your music project. So if you like this type of content, if you want to know more nuances about the music industry, about the music market, hit the like to this video and I will make more video on this topic. So hope this video was helpful, was useful for you guys. It was still 17. See you next week. Bye.